hi guys welcome back to my channel so this is my autumn and winter night makeup tutorial and if you want to see how I got this look then please keep watching Now I'm going to set my foundation with my powder and this is by Avon and it is in the color Light Medium. Okay, so I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer and this is in the color Pure Beige and a beauty blender and I'm just going to highlight my under eye area, my the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow and under my jawline. Now that I've blended out those highlighted areas, I'm going back in with my Avon press powder just to set the areas that I've highlighted. The most important part to set when using your powder after your concealer is the under eye area because of the tiny creases uh, that you have under your eyes. And the creases can become a bit evident during the day if you don't set your concealer well with the powder. So it's good to pack on some powder underneath your eyes. So now that I've done the highlighting uh, process, I'm going to use my Revlon Color Stay. This is in the color Mocha and I'm going to use a flat brush to contour. I'm just applying a little bit of product and I'm going to contour. I'm going to blend everything out using my beauty blender.
Okay, to set the contoured areas, I'm going to use my Yardley Press Powder and this is also in the color Mocha. Using this dark brown shade to do my eyebrows. Then using this lighter color for the inner corner of the eyebrows. I'm going to neaten up under my eyebrow and the top of my eyebrow so that the shape stays perfect. Blending it out with my finger. Now using this bright pigment, I'm going to highlight my brow bone. Now for some fun stuff, I'm going to do my eyes and I'm going to use the Eyes on the 80s BH Cosmetic Palettes. So for the transition shade, I'm going to be using this bronzy brownish color and I'm applying this all over my eyelid. Now that we have the transition color down, going in with the cerise color. So I'm applying this color all over my crease and I'm trying to intensify the outer area. Now going in with this dark purple, I'm applying it only to the outer V. I'm just using a little bit of this gel eyeliner and I'm applying it right to the socket of this outer crease. This is going to help smoke out the outer edge of this top eyelid. Now that I have applied that little amount of black on the outer crease, I'm going to use my blending brush and blend out that black. Be careful not to drag out the black too far because you can't really correct it. So just blend in a circular motion on the outer eyelid. Now I'm just applying a black eyeshadow to the outer crease. Now I'm picking up this reddish bronzy color and I'm applying this to the inner portion of my eye right until the middle. Then I am going to blend out those two colors.
Okay guys, so now that I've done my eyes, I'm moving on to my cheeks and I'm using my Pink Blush by Fushimi for Beauty. And this is the color. I'm applying this to the apples of my cheeks. Then going in with my favorite 3D shadow from Essence and I'm going to use this as a highlighter for the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose um, and the high points of my cheeks and my cupid's bow. I also want to apply just a little bit on the inner corners of my eyes and my eyebrow bone as well. Now I'm going to set my makeup in place using my MOD makeup setting spray. For lips, I'm using the LA Girl Matte Lip Gloss and this is the liquid matte glosses. So it goes on as liquid and it dries matte. And this is the color called Backstage. So guys, this is the final result. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching and I love you all so much. Bye!